basically started painting graffiti about 89. So what is that? Over 20 years of painting. About maybe eight years ago, after a series of court cases, I kind of sat down and thought about it. I, what more is there for me to do? I've done pieces, I've done tags, I've done freight trains, I've done transit. I feel like I've kind of conquered that territory. And with that coming to an end, I made a conscious decision at that time to move on to other things. I knew I always wanted to move into the fine art world. I dabbled in it for a while. Now what some people don't realize is fame and graffiti doesn't necessarily translate directly to gallery success. The graffiti helped, people have heard of me, but with what I'm doing now, I have to stand on my own two feet. It's a whole different crowd. What I do isn't necessarily just based around my name or letter forms. I have other ideas. A couple years back, I was working on very flat artwork. It looked like it could be done on the computer. Lady Penn tried to steer me back in this direction. She, she was like, I don't like that flat artwork you're doing. You're one of these people that actually can paint paint that started steering me back towards doing more work like this. The painting is called Perseverance on Red, and it kind of represents this art world stuff. It is a fight for survival. There's limited resources, limited galleries, so everybody's got to fight for their space. That's just been on my mind lately, trying to find my little niche in the world. It isn't always the people doing the best artwork or the most interesting artwork that make it. Sometimes it's being at the right place, shaking the right hand. If you want to pursue fine art, it's not for the faint of heart.